In this problem, we are given a frequency distribution here that's important uh, for the list of times and minutes that participants were late to a lab session, and we want the sample mean, the median, and the mode. So this is not the original data here. What this means is that you've got a zero and it's repeated three times. So if you wanted the original set of data, it would be zero, 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 three times, and then you'd have five ones, and then three fours, and then four sevens, and then two eights. So you keep on going there. You could re you know, reconstruct the original data. But what we can do instead is add one more column to this. We'll call this the x value, and we'll call this the frequency. So we're going to add one more column to this, which is going to be the data value times the frequency. So we're just going to multiply straight across. So here's x and then times the frequency. So 0 times 3 is equal to 0. Uh, 1 times 5 is equal to 5 because 5 ones are going to contribute 5 to the total. That's what this is doing. 3 times 4 is 12. Uh, 4 times 7 is 28. Uh, 2 times 8 here is 16. And now we are going to total up the frequencies. So that's how many times each value occurs. So total this frequency column. So 3 and 5 is 8, and 2 here is 10, and 7 more is 17. That means there's 17 numbers total. So this is our value for n. And then if we total up the frequency column here, we get a total of 61. And that is going to equal the sum of the numbers. So what this is saying is that here we've got three zeros. They contribute zero to the sum. Here we've got five number ones in our list. They contribute five to the sum. We've got three fours in our list. They contribute 12 to the sum. So our x bar, which is our sample mean, or if you want um, m, your book also uses that for sample mean, is the sum of the numbers over the number of numbers. So the sum of the numbers is the sum of this column value times frequency, that's 61, divide by the number of numbers, n, which is the sum of the frequency column, 17. So that, if you compute it on the calculator, gives you approximately 3.59. And be careful to give them a number of decimal places that they want if they ask for a certain number of decimal places. Now, to get the median, the median is the middle value and in order. Well, we've got 17 values here. So that means that there is one middle value. So if I take 17 and I subtract out that one middle value, that means that I've got 16 values left. That means that there are going to be eight values, and then there's going to be the one median that's in the middle, and then eight more values that make up that 17. So that means that this one middle value, the median right here, is going to be the ninth value. So we're going to count up our frequencies until we get to the number nine. So three, and then three plus five is eight, and then another three is 12. So that means that the ninth value is uh, in this range, it's one of the three fours. So our median is just going to be four. Another way to think about that is if you keep listing out these values, here we had five number one, so one, 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 and we had three number fours, so four, 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 and then we have four sevens, seven, 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 and then we had two eights. So that's our complete set of data. So there's 17 values there, and the middle value is going to be the ninth value. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right here. There are 8 values here below the median, 8 values here above the median, and 1 in the middle. Now if you've got an even number of values, if this ended up being, say, 16, then you would have had two middle values, the eighth and the ninth, and you'd average those. 
So you'd be looking for, you'd be counting up until you get a frequency that um, just exceeds uh, 9 or includes 8 and 9, really. And then you'd average those two values. And then the mode is the easiest one. The mode is the most frequent value. So you're looking for the biggest number in the frequency column, which is that 5 right there, and that goes with the number 1. And you can see there's the most number 1s up here. So your mode is 1. So notice that this is different than just saying for the mean here, averaging up those numbers. Okay, that's, that's different. This is our data set. This is a frequency distribution. Okay, so you can't just average these 5 numbers. That's not all the data.